This is the big experiment. Is it working? I don't know. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are hopefully live. We are using uh, my cell phone. <laughs> we thought we would try live streaming with the cell phone today. We've never done that before. Um, so, uh, Mr. and Stitches is I going to, to mute. you have to mute me. I have to mute you. Hey, you actually get to mute Oh me. my God, I get to mute you in real life. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> Technology! <laughs> nice, all right. <laughs> so, okay, so Mr. and Stitches is going to- There's a funny delay. Kind of watch on his phone and I guess monitor the chat that way because I, I can't do that. I cannot. <laughs> do a chat and talk and, and tap on the phone and all that stuff. So uh, this is an experiment. We don't know how long we're going to go for today. We thought we would um, just let the family know that we were going to give it a go um, just to sort of see how it works. <laughs> and because uh, we're you know, thinking it might be fun once in a while to, to try kind of live streaming um, on the go. And this is the big experiment. So if it works out, then maybe we'll do a few more of these in the future. And um, uh, I guess we're going to talk about, since we are now past Halloween, we are about a, what, a week into November? Today's the 6th. <laughs> What's today? The 6th? Um, November the 6th, right? No, 7th? Wait, hang on. 6th. It's November the 6th. It's Sunday. Yeah, Sunday the 6th. Yeah. I, I was thinking 7th, too. It's, it's about, the 6th. It's about it's noon there. Eastern, so... Yeah. Um, because we oh we also we also lost an hour we went back an hour last night for daylight saving so if today's a complete like chaotic mess that's why <laughs> we need a tech check because I mean I see everyone chatting everyone's saying hello but I don't know if it's coming through okay because I've got it really dialed down really on my phone down. yeah okay well if you if you want to let every if, if everybody can just sort of let us know like the chat know. seems to be working okay. I, I'm signed in here as Mr. and Stitches and I can see everything going through it there's just a really long delay on our there's screen. a long delay okay all right well um that I'm going to assume that you guys can hear <laughs> it's great says Jesse okay. oh good oh my goodness oh good 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 okay great oh my gosh all right so that's fun loud and clear says Christine tech check really good okay that's awesome this is awesome it's working right. great now the only other thing that I'm hoping doesn't happen is a the uh, phone runs out of juice or B <laughs> It collapses because I've got it. We've got it precariously teetering on, uh, <laughs> on a takeout. Know, a takeout container. Tray. It's teetering on a takeout tray. <laughs> I love it. Technology is so much fun. Um, okay, so uh, we quickly asked the family members what we might want to talk about today, and since this is just an experiment. We're not going to be crocheting or doing anything. It's a Sunday. Let's chill. We'll have a, have a cup of coffee. Um, put our feet up if you've got something to put your feet up on. And we'll uh, talk about the upcoming holiday season and some stuff to make. We've got a little slideshow going back here. I put that together. We got myself. our coffee going. We fed the squirrels. We fed the squirrels. Yep. So hopefully this live will happen without any additional interference. <laughs> <laughs> um, Looks and sounds great, says Shell. That's okay. awesome. Awesome. So the phone is so working. Hmm. That's perfect. Okay. Um, so I rounded up a handful of projects. <laughs> uh, we've got, I got them kind of going through the background. So if you see something you like, uh, chances are there is a, there's, there's definitely a pattern for it and there's probably a tutorial for it too on the channel. Um, we don't have access to our lips and stuff. Everything we're showing here, there's a tutorial for. Uh, or a pattern. Or a pattern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do not have access. Well, you might be. I, I might be able to go into it. I don't know. I could try to go in and you grab the odd one from the channel and post it. I but wonder how that would work. This is, like someone said, flying by the seat of our pants, and that's yes. very accurate Yes, we are, we are definitely, this is all experimental. So, and you know what? It's <laughs> fun. We figured we would probably... If we, if we tried it as an experiment, and it's just a goof around, so if you guys are, you know, working on a project, or you're bored, or you're doing some cleaning, or whatever, you're, you know, if you're just resting on a beautiful Sunday, uh, you know, we're just company in the background for you. We're, we're not, uh, we're going to talk about, about uh, prep, projects, uh, a whole bunch of things that I like to go through at this time of the year. So maybe, uh, some of you probably heard some of it before. There's a couple of new things in there. We'll just chit-chat, uh, see how it goes today. 
we've got, um, I've tried to round up a bunch of projects that were sort of fall and Christmas. So you'll probably see those sort of like rolling past. So maybe there's a little bit of inspiration back there. Um, and I know the, the U.S. has Thanksgiving coming up. Um, and for those of you who are new, uh, just to let you know, we always have a nice big uh, Black Friday sale event in our Etsy shop. That will be starting on, when do we usually start that? The Thursday or the Friday, the Black Friday weekend? Oh, well, it's usually the Black Friday of a, goes a day or two before and then right through the, right through to the Monday, Monday. Cyber Monday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So about four or five days. Four or five so days. when's Black Friday? I don't know. It's the 25th, I think. Wait. Is, is it always the 25th? No, it's always the Friday. <laughs> I'm not American. Americans, can you please sing in this here with us? This coffee is really, it's it's really light. It's, it's like, not, it's not <laughs> super powerful. It's, it's the, it's the, isn't it usually like the, on or around the 25th? Because it's like a month yeah, before probably. Christmas? Yeah, probably. That makes sense. So I know our, our American family will let us know what's going on. There's so much to look at. I know. The chat's on the screen there. It's on the screen here. It goes by quick. Yeah. And it um, goes by quick. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so yeah, that, that we have our, um, our Black Friday sale event in our Etsy shop for that weekend. So that'll be It's the up. Friday after Thanksgiving. The Friday so whatever after, date which that is always turns the Thursday. out to be. Isn't the third? But I thought, okay. Uh -huh. I thought we have a lot of Americans watching. They'll, they will clear it up yeah, for us. Yeah, you guys will clear it up. <laughs> Eventually, we'll look at a calendar. Um, I just realized I can scratch my nose and then watch myself scratch my nose like a minute later. <laughs> it's very entertaining. What does that say? I don't know. <laughs> See? I'm just going to be scratching my nose the whole stream. Like, hey, wow, look at that. <laughs> it's like, it's like... Up okay, up. here's Joy. Joy, one of our channel members, says Black Friday is the 25th this year. It so is you were right. Oh, well. Yeah, now Jada I, is correct. Now I sound smart, and I'm really not. That's great. I will <laughs> unmute you for this. <laughs> unmute. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Um, Black Friday event at our Etsy shop, look out for that. We have it every year, um, but I know a lot of you are new, so just in case you didn't know, um, if you're gonna do some pattern chopping or uh, we're hoping, I haven't got it, um, I haven't got it fully ironed out yet, but we are hoping to have our 2023 um, crochet calendar. So not calendar blanket project, but just an actual calendar, like a, um, a look ahead calendar, the type that you print out, you can put on the wall, you know, write dates mm -hmm. on. We do a little calendar. Uh, we've done a calendar two years in a row. We're gonna hopefully have our 2023 calendar. It's a digital uh, file that you can purchase in our shop. Hopefully we'll have that ready by that weekend. I'm hoping, not making any promises, but it is it is high on my list of priorities. Um, and I know a lot of you were asking about it, so. Uh, one of our channel members here, I'm losing the chats moving pretty quick, but someone was asking a, about a coffee cozy. And we do currently have one, a cat one. We have a cat one. Coffee cup cozy. We also it's did, a free pattern on the website. We also did a live stream a while ago where we made some coffee cup cozies. Yeah, so if um, you search the channel, you should find those. But you know what? That's a good, that's a good, this is why I always have a pen and paper. Where's right? your book? Make your list. I'm going to read out some um, milestones okay. here. So first of all, a big re-welcome to Andrea who's an alpaca member. Hi, Andrea, thank uh, you. Big hello to Louise, who's Louise. been a Silk member for 48 months. Great to see you all now. I am a grandma now. Hey! Congratulations. Congratulations, Louise. And a uh, member for, uh, Rebecca has been a member for 14 months. Big shout out to Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Nani May is here, channel member. I know Good morning, May. everyone. <laughs> Um, let's see. So you're doing the coffee cup cozy. I'm just writing that down. And let's see here. I'm just making some notes. This is why it's always good to check um, in with you guys because so much, as you know, happens in a week, happens in a month. One of you was just commenting earlier that um, you're, uh, we're, we've just posted the November Tunisian square tutorial. That was on Friday. The Lacy Lattice Stitch. Love that stitch. I think it was the easiest and the fastest so far this year, but I'm waiting to sort of, I haven't had a chance to look at the comments in a few days, so I haven't yet seen what everybody has to say about it, but I'm looking forward to reading the comments on that. Um, and yeah, we're already in November. That means we have one square to go and then we've got to put the whole thing together, put on a border. I, I don't know how fast, it, it just seems to go by so quickly. 
Um, but this year in particular, we seem to kind of survive. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have a check-in with you guys because um, it's good to remember, you know, what... I forget that we've done live streams. I forget that we've done things and maybe we don't yeah. have a pattern for it available or there's, you know, just, just stuff that we have to remember to sort of sing out. So thank you. That's um, what I'm about this year. I am going to continue shouting out our channel members. Megan, Silk member, membership milestone. Hey, Megan. So happy to see you both. Welcome, welcome. Kimberly, who's been an alpaca member for seven months. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Kim. Joy, 22 months, Vicuña member. Thank you, Kim. Or Thank you, Joy. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. <laughs> Kim, Kim was the last one. Kim is the last this one. This is Joy. I need stronger coffee. Yes. <laughs> I Actually, I just added water. I should <clears throat> added a little oh, extra, a little extra bean. Is that your big long trick? You just reheat my coffee? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to save the pennies. <laughs> Vima! Vima's in the house today. Hey, Vima! 26 months silk member. Hi, Jada. So happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Vima. Kathy, 28 months. <laughs> Hi, Jada and Mr. and Stitches and everyone. Hi, Gabby. I am glad I caught you from balmy northern Vermont. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I'm so glad you guys could all make it here on short notice. Like we said, it's an experiment. We've never live streamed from the phone before, but we... We would like to do more with the, the simple technology that we have on us as opposed to always kind of being locked into like, you know, a room with a computer. <laughs> um, so we thought we'd give this a try today and see how it goes. So it, it's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride. Um, Mr. and Stitches is actually um, in the chat from his account today. Usually he's um, logged in with, with the main account and talking to you from the Jade and Stitches. Uh, tagline, but today it's just him and his username. So if you see Mr. and Stitches in the chat, that's who he is. I'm trying to chat, but it's a bit uh, tricky. It's a bit tricky. Um, I wanted to answer Christine. Sure. Um, ask about a teacup, a teapot cozy, and we do have mm -hmm. the owl. We have an owl pattern. We have a tutorial, yeah. It's a full video tutorial. Yeah. I don't know if there's an Etsy pattern, I don't think but there, there is, is a video tutorial. But there is a, there's a video YouTube tutorial for the yeah. owl. Teapot cozy. I'll write that down. Owl teapot. Hello to Princess Francis from Kansas. Hello, Hello Shell. <laughs> Hi guys, Shell. Everybody. Shell's going on a, a, a um, road trip, little road trip today. Very nice. Good day for it. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, so. Um, All right, we're getting we're getting a, a crisp, sharp. Picture. Really? Yeah, so that's good news. So the phones, the phones are might good. be better than our usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, well, that's good at least. Um, okay, so I've got my little pad of paper and my pen here handy. Um, so we were going to talk about Christmas. We're going to talk about, about, we're going to talk about the whole thing. So the whole season. So um, just we started with a little reminder that we've got a big sale coming up on the Black Friday weekend in our Etsy shop. And over and around that, this time of year, things start to get a little man manic for everybody. Um, if you are making more of your gifts this year, and I feel like a lot of us are, the prices have gone up on things, um, this is the year to shop your stash if you've never done that before. Um, I love shopping the stash. I talk about it kind of, you know, like I, I say, oh, this is a good stash brushing project. Now I talk a lot about projects that you can just make with yarn you might have on hand a lot, but I don't actually talk about how I shop my stash. And I just thought, I know it sounds probably a little silly, but um, the, the more you're into knitting and crochet and fiber arts and stuff, the longer you're in it, the more you tend to accumulate and it does tend to get away from you. So you might be in the habit, if you're like me, of keeping all of your pretty brand new crisp you know balls and skeins of yarn like all kind of neatly stacked or maybe you've got them all on a pretty little you know shelf or something so you can look at them maybe you keep them in a, a basket or a bag or in a nice little tupperware container or something um, but then you always end up with the leftovers you know the little bits of the yarn ball that you didn't need to finish a project you've got you know you kind of roll them up and you know maybe you put them in a maybe you've got a bag for your your scrappy ends, or maybe you've got a little basket. Maybe some of them are like half a half a skein of yarn. So what do you do with that? Well, you know, it's too big to put in the little tiny scrap bag, but it's not a full ball, so you're not going to put it with the. So you see what I'm saying? Over time, you end up with a whole bunch of different amounts of yarn. You can't necessarily measure it. You don't know necessarily how to store it, and so a lot of the stuff that isn't brand new and still with its wrapper on and untouched 
tends to go into baskets and bags and you know Ziploc bags that you sort of stash in the back of corners and everything. So when I talk about shopping the stash, I mean shopping the entire stash. I mean taking everything out, putting it on the floor, and doing an inventory. And I know if you work and you have to do inventory at work, this is kind of the, oh, I don't want to do that moment, but it's fun. Hear me out. Put on some tunes, make yourself a nice cup of tea or whatever you kind of like to have on hand. And then when you've got, you know, your, your little like, like safe station set up where you're not going to knock over your tea or your coffee or your beverage and you've got like some music going or maybe some Christmas movies, whatever you're into, then literally go crazy. Pull out every last place you know you've hidden yarn. If it's like in a closet, if it's stashed under the... Uh, under the, the bed, maybe you've got it, you know, up on a shelf somewhere, pull everything out, put it, like, open up the bags, open up the boxes. Um, if you've been keeping things like cottons with cottons, keep them in a pile, you know, acrylics with acrylics and so on. Uh, especially if you don't have the wrappers or the, leg, like the, the labels or anything for these yarns anymore. But pull everything out and start doing color inventory, uh, fiber inventory, see what you've got in terms of um, <laughs> are you still watching yourself? I'm in my own world over here. <laughs> you just mind your own business. Um, anyway, <laughs> pull everything out and see what you've got. So if you want to make, I, I also like tend to break down the gifts I'm making in terms of size. You know, am I making blankets, sweaters, like the big stuff? Am I making little stocking stuffers, making little gift toppers? Am I making little, little tiny things? You know, is that what I'm doing? Then the little tiny projects require little tiny amounts of yarn. So this is a great time to revisit that bag or box or container that has the little tiny ends sort of wrapped up in it. Uh, we did um, some really cute miniature clothing ornament uh, a couple years ago. And the, one of my favorites is the hat and scarf. So these little tiny cute little hats and cute little scarves that you can sort of hang on the tree or use as a present topper or something. The scarves in particular take like seven yards, seven to 10 yards of yarn. What's that? It's nothing. Um, the hats take a, maybe like 20, 25 yards of yarn. Uh, you can also make those hats scrappy and they'll look so cute. So just start tying small amounts together, roll it into a magic ball, and then make some of these little miniature hat ornaments. They turn out super cute every single time because you wind up kind of turning it into a, a little um, circle and it looks intentional. So all that scrapping looks intentional. And on a small scale, it looks like it's sort of self-striped. Super adorable. Great way to use up some scraps. And you can make a whole bunch of them. So now you've got like a whole set of these adorable little, you know, hat and scarf ornaments that uses up some of the smaller, I don't know what to do with yarn scraps in your stash. It cleans out an area that, you know, little balls of yarn take up space, so it helps to clean out the small bits of stash that you don't know what to do with. It makes up a whole bunch of cute little ornaments that you can give away intentionally or just randomly. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's fun. It's also those, those, especially those little hat ornaments are so quick and easy to make. It's like uh, the kind of thing you go, okay, I want to make a whole bunch of, of, of I want to make a whole, I want to make 12 hats. I have 12 people I need to give a little gift to. I'm going to make 12 hats. Pull up that small bag of like scrap yarn, start making the little hats, put them all aside, and then like if you want, you can add a little cute little tag to them, or you can sort of tuck them into, like attach them to a, a Christmas card or a, a Thanksgiving card or anything like that. And you've, you've got 12 gifts done. And you don't really have to think about it. It's a super easy pattern, so you don't have to sit there and concentrate. So it's those little tiny gifts that can use up the tiny amounts of yarn that you may have forgotten about. So stash shopping also requires inventory. Then, of course, when you're pulling everything out, you're going to find stuff you forgot you had. You're going to find probably some works in progress you may have forgotten you had, depending on how deeply you stuff things <laughs> in the closets and whatnot. And it's very likely that you started something in a November or a January last year, the year before, five years ago that you've forgotten about entirely, and it could be close to being done. So why not pull it out and get it finished? This is also a great time to reevaluate re your works in progress pile. There might be something in there that you abandoned because you got bored or you, know, you were gonna make it but you changed your mind. It might be an opportunity to finish that project and give it away as a gift. So <clears throat> the stash also includes your works in progress. 
I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Is there anything you want to? Is it my turn? Jump in with? Yes. Um, I'm going to read out member membership milestones. Okay. <laughs> I'm still scratching my nose. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me continue. Uh, the next one was Sakura Sue. Hi, Sue. Silk member. Good morning and happy November. Such a fun idea for today. Always good to see both Mr. and Stitches and Jada on screen together. Thank you. Yeah, we don't do this very often. No, I occasionally pop in, but I'm usually hiding in the corner. You are, yeah. Um, Penny, alpaca member. Hello, my family friends. Can you make a poinsettia? Hi, Penny. <clears throat> We have a poinsettia, not a specific poinsettia flower, like a 3D one, but we do have a poinsettia hexagon motif um, that you might like. And you can use that to make a blanket, or if you made it out of cotton, you can just make one hexagon motif or two and stitch them together and have a dishcloth or a hot pad. Very pretty, I like it. We've got a tutorial for that. Just look, um, search poinsettia hexagon if you want to check it out and see if you like it. It looks good in, it looks good in red and white, in gold. You can change up the center color if you want to. There's a lot you can do with that pattern. It's kind of fun. Um, from Wendy, one of our channel members, Hi, Marino, a snowman, Santa, elf, gingerbread men, <clears throat> hanging towels. Hanging towels. <clears throat> snowman. So, so these are. So like, these are themed hanging towels. So um, I don't know, like a tea towel, towel or like a hand towel. It's an idea for hanging Christmas. Hanging towels, stuff. like like a like a kitchen towel or a. Well, Wendy will let us know <laughs> what she means. Thanks, Wendy. I'll write that down. Uh, yeah, so the snowman, Santa, elf, gingerbread man, hanging towels. <laughs> oh, my hand is getting so bad. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> Let's me. see here. Lisa, welcome to Alpaca. I think Lisa's a new channel member. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Kimberly sent us a super sticker. It is my favorite little coffee man. You probably missed it Aww, by now. I... Here, you can see him. Really... Oh. You see him? Thank you, Kimberly. Yes. <laughs> Yes. That's so funny. thank you for the super sticker, Kimberly. <laughs> thank you, Kimberly. Four dollar super sticker. Appreciate Kimberly is also a channel member. Yes. And Sandra sent us a super chat. Just joining in. Great to spend some time with you. Hi, Sandra. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> good, good coffee. Uh, Even though it's watered down, I don't mind it. Maybe tea towels is Maybe. what was meant earlier. Hanging towels, tea towels, you know I'll write down tea Write down tea towels, yeah, tea and then hanging, Wendy, Wendy can leave us another uh, chat or a message in the... Uh, or just messages at the well, shop if it's a different... Or, or leave a comment down below. A comment, that's yeah. it. There's too many things going on. <laughs> There's a lot happening here. Nani Mae says, hi cuties. Hi Nani Mae. Alpaca member. <clears throat> Hello. I was asked to give everyone a, a, a big UK wave. Is like, that is that a specific wave. wave or like do do, like, do the Brit do the British the wave differently? <laughs> no. Like do they wave like this or something? <laughs> is this a, like what's a UK? Isn't that like what the Queen used to do? So the Queen goes like this. God rest her soul. Yeah. Doesn't she go like this. It was it was yeah I think it was a little bit like like this. like cupped. A little little cupped. Yeah. I don't know. I, like I always that. liked that. Yes. Yeah, it's just a gentle, you know. <laughs> well, if you're doing it for like eight hours, you have to wait. It's going to get people. really tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, love you, cuties. Five dollar super chat from Nani May. Thank you. Thank you, Nani Thanks for May. the support. We thank you very much. Yes, um, this is this is this is our, our ratchet live stream. <laughs> We are. We thought we would experiment with the phone today. Hey, so from what I'm hearing, today. it's a really good picture and sound. There's just the okay. Someone said there's the occasional delay. Like it's a little bit. Otherwise, of it's pretty good. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's data as opposed to an internet connection. So I'm I'm amazed that it works. It's like at all. it's cell tower stuff. Yeah. Which is like what? I'm impressed. That's that's really cool. I'm glad. Royal that's wave. That's what it's the called. Royal the wave. Royal wave. So so a UK hello a UK wave is different than a royal. Okay, wave. so Andrea, one of our channel members, says a UK wave is exactly the same unless you're royalty. Ha, yes, ha, ha. yes. So, so so when when I wave, it should be like. Oh this. wait wait wait. 
So, okay, let's, <laughs> let's discuss waves for a minute since we've got a global group of you here. We wave like this, typically in the West. Like this, side to side. I think, open open right? hand, side now, to side. How does the Italian family wave? They go like this. Like this. They go like this. Well, this this is. They kind of clap yeah. a bit. Yeah, they clap. Yeah. I think that also means come here. Well, <laughs> this means. Come yeah, here. they'll go like this. This is high. This means come here. Yeah. I mean, You're the Italians right. talk more with their hands anyway. <laughs> they only talk with their hands. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, so there's this. Now, I want to know: is like a wave different? Where you're from, like if this is just generally like, hey, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> it, this is hello. It also can be like uh, over here, but I guess that's more with your hands up in the air. And this is stop, right? <laughs> wait, wait, no, or no. Or what's like, what's that smell? Get that smell away from <laughs> no, me. No, that's this. That's this. <laughs> or this. Or it's like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's hot. Oh yeah, both hands is like you're really excited yeah, to yeah. see something. Oh yeah, that is. Yeah, that is if you're really Don't excited. the Japanese do that? Both hands? Yes. Like when they're like really like, ah, like really excited. Yeah, yeah. I think so. But but not let us, uh, yeah. yeah, let us, let I, us I know, know if you guys have a specific wave around. Yes, the world. is the wave does the wave differ <clears> from you are? I mean obviously like like physical physical communication is gonna be just as different culturally as our as our verbal communication. So I like that because I, you know, every once in a while you go someplace and you just sort of, um, like you hear. I'm showing off showing our, our coffee yeah. mugs. <laughs> They've got a little pedestal. Denise likes our coffee mugs. They are kind of cute. cute. They're small. They don't hold an awful. Uh, lot of Denise coffee. is one of our channel members. Membership, uh, <laughs> membership milestone. Good morning, Jada and Mister and Stitches. Thank you, Denise. And in Stitches family, thank <laughs> you for all you do. And for this time together, P.S. Love your coffee mug. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's cute. It's and cute. Amy, one of our channel members. Hi, Amy. Good to see you both today working on about 25 of the Bell's bag with your snowflake on it. Nice. Cool. We got some gamers in the family. Mm -hmm. Gamers in the house. And making washcloths and adding shower gel for Christmas. That sounds excellent. Very good idea. Yes. So let's get back to projects, ideas. Um, while you're shopping the stash, if you've got a collection of yarn remnants that are cotton, then you can pull those out and you can make some little um, self-care goodies with those. So it doesn't have to be a full-sized dishcloth, it can be a smaller washcloth, or it can be a very small face scrubby. So face scrubbies are usually about what? three inches in diameter no more <clears> than that and they're the kind of thing that maybe you just sort of want to take your makeup off or maybe like they're nice for like a little child to kind of use or something but a little stack of them and they can be all different colors if you want makes a nice little gift you know that with a nice bar of soap or a face cleanser or something very nice little self-care gift and of course they're reusable which you know we all like these days so if you've got cotton scraps little tiny face scrubbies they don't have to be round they can be square um, this is an awesome time to, to play with some um, experiment with different stitches. So for example, if you've been watching some of the Tunisian squares that we've been doing this year, or you're following the entire project along with us, I always show you a little sample size of the Tunisian stitch. That is something you can make with a regular crochet hook, um, not an ergonomic one, but just a regular crochet hook, uh, because you only are dealing with like eight or at most eight or 10 uh, loops on your hook at the same time. So you can kind of work a small little Tunisian scrap piece with a regular crochet hook. You don't need the long one. And if you do sort of like an eight chain base, an eight row thing, and add a little tiny crochet uh, edge to it, you've only used up like 10 yards of yarn and you've made a little tiny face scrubby. So if you wanted to practice your Tunisian stitches, then making little tiny samplers all about the same size a little stack of those pretty little things with a little simple single crochet border in cotton. Now you've got a stack of pretty little face scrubbies that are reusable and they're a way to practice Tunisian crochet without even needing a great big long Tunisian hook. Highly recommend that. Great way to use up some cotton scraps because they take up very little yarn per scrubby. You're smiling and giggling. Katie is in the house today. Uh, hi Katie. Katie says, don't make me throw my yarn at you. Miss Jada whacking with the pool noodle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pool noodle is a tucked away safe. We will we will put in one order for a pool noodle whack. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, he tucked away the pool. It is. It it is it, yeah, it is tucked away to the winter. Tucked away where he can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Kata got tired of me following her around the house, <laughs> smacking her in the you know head and shoulder with it. Good morning. You know, while she's like making food and like in the bathroom, brushing her teeth, just steady smack. You know, fixing your bed. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> That'd be annoying. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> I'm going to make a note of that. <laughs> How to annoy Very wife. good annoying wife thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, we're shopping our stash today. We are making gifts out of the stash without having to go buy more yarn. Uh, we are also going to do a little um, magic ball creation. So if you're not sure what to make and you've got a lot of little tiny scraps, um, you can make some magic balls. And these are really fun. You don't need an actual ball <laughs> winder for these. Just take all of your small pieces, you know, they can be anywhere from like less than a meter to a few meters in length or less than a yard to a few meter, a few yards in length, and just randomly knot them all together. Doesn't matter what order. Try to keep fiber with fiber. So if it's try to keep them all acrylic or keep it all cotton. Um, I like to do the, the, the pairing where I take the ends and I line them up like this and then I tie the, the single knot like with the two ends together, because I find that makes a stronger knot than, than tying it together like, you know, like a granny knot. Um, <clears throat> you can have, do it all in order, like if you wanted to make a specific self-striping ball of yarn, like all rainbow or a particular set of hues or maybe all pastels or all, you know, whatever you want, uh, all neutrals or something. And then you can <laughs> okay. just wind it up. We've got, a, we've got a tutorial on how to quickly wind a, a ball of yarn just for storage, especially if you intend to like use it relatively <clears> soon <throat> so it won't stretch itself out. Um, in fact, it will, um, it won't stretch the yarn because you eventually take it off your fingers. And so there's a bit of contraction room inside the ball. But you can make your own magic balls and just put them aside. It's another way to organize and inventorize your small yarn scraps. And then you've got some magic balls that you can sort of grab anytime you want to make some kind of cute little project that can be kind of wild looking, like a multicolored dishcloth or those little hats or even a big hat. A big hat made out of yarn scraps looks really cute. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to shout out Valerie, who has joined our channel membership. Hi, Valerie. Thank you and welcome. Thank you very much. And I think I missed a member, a couple of membership milestones. So we oh, have here. one here from Katie. <laughs> Katie's been an alpaca member for 30 months. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm. Katie says, hi, wrap booties and diaper cover for mom's friend. Very nice. A diaper cover. Yeah, What's so that? I think um, if you're like, okay, I, they have different names depending on where you come from. Is that when you they're like, like Throw a dirty diaper and then cover it. <laughs> is that what a diaper cover is? I think diaper covers are like. I think they also have like they call them like puddle pants and there's a whole bunch of different names for them. I think I think if this is what you're talking about, Katie, it's the little the little cover like it basically goes over a diaper. So it's like it's like the baby's in a diaper. Oh yeah yeah, and like, I understand. Just so it has a bit of. It's like a, just a cute soft, little cover. It softens and it looks. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. If that's what you're talking about. I, that's, um, that's what I understand. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, Amy also sent us a membership milestone. Thank you, Amy. Amy says, good to see you both today working on... Wait, I read that one already. Thank you again, Amy. Thank I think again, I, that's Amy. the bells bag. Yeah, that's, that's the bells bag. I one. love that. The bells bag with a snowflake I on. think I'm caught up. I think it that's was really just smart. it was just Katie's that... Uh, Okay, good. Pop We're, once again, just to reiterate, this yeah. is an experiment today. We're working with the phones as opposed to the usual way we set up a, a live stream. So uh, we thought we would we would give it a go. Rubber pants. Rubber pants. Mm -hmm. yeah, that yeah. might be the baby thing. Yeah, that's the baby thing. Again, it's like so that they don't the soaker, 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 <laughs> rubbers, you know, soaker pants because the diapers leak, <laughs> especially when they're little. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is from Rosie Crochet Corner. I finished the hat ornament and granny treat ornaments, and I almost finished the mittens ornament. Oh, and wow. I'm also planning a advent calendar. Yay! Excellent. Nice. I love those things. We yeah. we had uh, we made an advent calendar. I I can make an advent calendar every year because I just love them. But the one we made last year was all the little mini granny stockings. Um, that's using the falling leaf stitch. Absolutely <laughs> love that. Uh, Penny, one of our channel members, says that they are doing ugly sweaters this year. Do you have any ideas? Oh, oh, oh. Well, not only does Jada have ideas, but we have 
um, a few video tutorials and a handful of live streams where we build one. Yes. Um, so there's at least four or five videos out there that will give you all kinds of ideas. Right off the bat, I'll run off three of them. We have a tutorial for an ugly Christmas sweater that we did several years ago. Uh, actually, we've done three. We've done three ugly Christmas sweaters. Wow. Okay, I have four suggestions. So, ugly Christmas sweater number one. Um, I took an old sweater a few years ago and I added some fun little appliques and we've got patterns available for that. Um, they're all linked into the uh, bottom of the <laughs> chat. I think the original was make it, I think the tutorial title was make an ugly Christmas sweater, make an ugly cute Christmas sweater. Then the following year we live streamed a couple of live streams where I took my old panda sweater and we made that into an ugly Christmas sweater. So I took a sweater, much like this one, had a, had a panda on it instead of, instead of my bunny, and we decorated it using a bunch of silly different uh, appliques, many of which we have uh, tutorials for, and that was a live stream. So if you kind of want some company and some inspiration while you're working on one, you can watch the Panda Ugly Christmas Sweater live stream um, collection. Yeah. I think there were two or three of those. Then we did another one the next year where I took a plain pink, pink sweater, and we completely created an entire Christmas scene on it. We made a gingerbread house. We had Santa coming down the chimney. We had trees. We had snow. We had all sorts of things. That's also a live stream series. And the pattern for all of those applique pieces is actually in our Etsy shop. Um, and it's the ugly Christmas sweater gingerbread house collection. Oh, so, yeah. and then if you don't want to, like, let's just decorating a sweater with stuff you've got. Um, and also it doesn't have to be an old sweater of yours. Um, it can be, uh, so you can go to the secondhand store and find an old sweater and just wash it up, especially if this is just sort of like something you're only going to wear once for fun. So don't spend a lot of money on it. But if you really love the idea of creating something crazy, then, you know, reuse an old sweater and dress it up. And the fourth option, is we have a Christmas tree skirt tutorial. It's the 12 point Christmas tree skirt tutorial. It makes an absolutely gorgeous Christmas tree skirt. Mm -hmm. But you can also wear it as a crazy Christmas poncho. So it buttons up, it flaps around, it's got, it's got 12 points. And if you wanted to, to invest the time, you could turn that into a poncho and decorate it as well. Mm -hmm. Or just make it to be a beautiful Christmas tree skirt Good and idea. then wear it to a party because it certainly catches people's attention. So there's mm -hmm. four ideas for you right there. And we have a tutorial for that Christmas tree skirt. Fantastic. Yeah, in fact, there's a picture of me on a live stream uh, wearing <laughs> that. <laughs> Summer says, guys, it's so early. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Summer's still recuperating from making the Halloween costumes. Summer's like, I need... Which were incredible, Which were by the way. Yes. Summer, Summer Love the photos. has two very... Awesome children. Excellent, excellent job. Who, who on insisted on being two of the most complicated costume characters for mm -hmm. Halloween, um, Sun and Moon from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. If you're familiar with that, a lot of people aren't. It's kind of a cult cult game, like a fun a fun cult classic game. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> these looked like the actual. By the time she was finished, I think it took her like two months, maybe longer. They looked like the actual characters had walked right off the screen. They were masks, pants, shoes, mm -hmm. the whole thing. It was amazing. Anyway, I imagine Summer's going to like recover <laughs> before she starts doing anything else. Um, I'm not sure if I welcomed Valerie to our channel membership. Valerie? I think to the Stitches family. Oh, Valerie? Well, we didn't. Thank you. A big thank you to Valerie Welcome. for joining us. Welcome again. Silk membership. And this is the kind of chaos you get with the family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Georgie, Georgie has been an alpaca member Hi, for 14 Georgie. months, says hi from Suffolk, VA, heart, Suffolk. I think that's Virginia. Virginia? Is VA Virginia? I think so. I think there's only one VA. state with a V? Yeah. Virginia. I think it's Virginia. It's West Virginia. Well, thank you thank for you. supporting our show. Yes. Um, Monica, a Silk member for two months, I just made seven cat mats using the Tunisian stitches you have taught and donated awesome. them to a local no-kill animal oh, shelter. Oh, I love that. Very nice. Oh, and those make good, that's a good stitch concept for a, for a blanket yeah. or, a, or a mat because they're, they're fairly tight and thick. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Kim, one of our channel members, wants to know if we were bored today. Bored. That's why we live streamed early. Actually, we're a bit tired and... <laughs> We've been, we've, we're not thinking clearly. That's why we're here. We've got 
We've, as usual, <laughs> life is crazy. It gets crazier this time of year. Um, and we've, we've had some issues with our internet lately. Big surprise to everybody watching, I'm sure. Um, and we thought we would try live streaming from our phone. So this is kind of an Just experiment. Just an experiment? Yeah. Seems it wasn't, to be working out. It wasn't uh, really something we had fully scheduled. Mm -hmm. so It was um, spur of the moment. Yeah, so we thought we would sort of sit down and, and have a cup of coffee and just sort of chit-chat. Nothing crazy busy. <laughs> it's just maybe some inspiration for the, for the upcoming season. And, of course, anybody throwing out ideas, I'm writing them down so that uh, um, I can keep my head together. But that's what this is about today. We're, we're doing an experiment. It's in Stitches family member Caroline says, I am still remembering Santa down the chimney on the live stream. Yes, yes. And laughing. Caroline, yes, yeah, that was so funny. We have I remember that. His, it's That's basically his little bum and his feet. Going back a little bit. <laughs> Sticking yeah. out of the chimney. I love that. That's that's that I love that crazy Christmas mm -hmm. sweater. I love I love ugly Christmas sweaters. I know that Oh you know, yeah. It's early because we have daylight savings time. Yes. Everything went back. We backed up yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we're earlier than it feels. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome to the early live stream. Welcome everybody. to the, the early version of, uh, of the Institutions Bill. Um, hey, we watered had our, down we coffee. Had our coffee. Yeah, it's a little well, watered. only the third cup was watered down. The first two were, were pretty. They were. Yeah. They were, they were, they were yeah. I'm not complaining. This you is better a, not this be. Is, this is a complaint. There will be no. We, we do not tolerate complaints we at this tolerate. establishment. Oh, but well, you know what we got? We got, um, we got some tea. The other day, I wanna I wanna just sing it out because I love it. It's chamomile. I can honey, get it if you want. Chamomile honey vanilla. Chamomile honey so vanilla. So it's non yeah. non caffeinated. Twinnings. Twinnings. It's twinnings. Yeah. Twi twiggings. Twinnings. It's twinnings. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> so it's it's obviously it's good. Not caffeinated. It's naturally not caffeinated. But it's a chamomile honey vanilla, and it is wonderful. It's my new favorite evening drink. I just love it, and it mm -hmm. smells like. Christmas. So it's my tea for the season. It's my favorite thing for the season. I need tea. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, let's see. We were talking about, this is, this is us um, experimenting. Summer's asking about your sweater. So many people talk about Jada's sweater when they see it. Yes. Everyone just absolutely it's my loves bunny it. Sweater. That was purchased yes. at a store. It was not made I, by, uh, by Jada. I bought this like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. it's my favorite sweater. You should probably see it pop up a lot because I, I absolutely, it's a rabbit wearing glasses. I, I mean, know. it's cute. How much cuter can be? <laughs> but I have to say, because people have asked and I go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I am tempted to try and, and create one. a version yeah, of this. You should. Or at the very least, take a very boring sweater and create this kind of an applique for it. Like, I'm, that's that's yeah. kind of like on my mind. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe that'll be this year's Write Christmas it down. sweater. Write it down. Maybe that'll be this year's Christmas Summer's sweater. into that. Summer, of course, summer's into um, that. I'm going to read out some more um, milestones yeah. here. So, this is from Gina, one of our family members. Hi, Gina. Thank you. Hi, guys. I think this is the year I will do the cute, ugly Christmas sweater. Oh, good. It's fun. Yeah. It's hard we, to make them ugly. We tried to go ugly, but it ended up being cute. I think that's because <laughs> crochet is inherently wholesome, fluffy. Wholesome is a good word. I was going to say there's a lot of love in a craft. Like when you really enjoy a hobby, you've got a lot of positive energy kind of coming out. So I think it's mm -hmm. difficult to make mm -hmm. things like now. I know there are there are crochet and knitting artists out there who can really click the like button if you like crochet. Yeah, yeah, that's a... if you're if you're watching and you like crochet, click the like button. <laughs> it's all dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> Frogging. Everyone's like. I've been frogging all day. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, I think, um, excuse me, I think crochet is inherently wholesome or cute or pretty because, because you, you, you're enjoying what you're doing. So it's, it's not. It's also kind of tied, it's tied into nest in, in a way like nesting. Like, yeah. you know, when you're kind of trying to build your home or yeah. cozy your house up and you oh, I need a blanket, I need a rug. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's very old I also fashion. think that, you know, it's very difficult to make sharp, jagged shapes and edges with a soft, malleable yarn or, or wool. And, you know, things that are frightening or ugly are sometimes a little more sharp edged than round edge. I mean, I know that's mm -hmm. not, you know, a blanket statement, but but I think maybe that's why crochet tends to be cute rather than ugly. 
even if you put together the worst colors, it still kind of comes out looking kind of cool. Yeah, so, or uh, cute or quirky. Cute or, or quirky, yeah. yeah. Um, a shout out to Penny, who sent us a super sticker. You probably Penny's... missed it, but it's that little face, oh, smiley yeah. face. Thank there. you, Penny. <laughs> I'm sitting, my brain, sorry guys, I'm talking and my brain's racing off. Summer, I think, I think we're doing it. I think it's going to oh, be, Vermont. Okay, Vermont I think it's going to be a right. rabbit ugly Christmas sweater this year. I think it's happening. Not this guy. A rabbit ugly Christmas sweater? I, I think, I think, think so? I think that's what's happening this year. I don't know. What if there's no time for what if there's no time? an extra no sweater? No time, no time. We'll try. I love the idea. Brain in fast forward. Okay, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> I've made a note. <clears throat> all right, let me uh, make sure I've caught up. Okay. I think I have with uh, all the miles. How do you feel that is? Again, the experiment. You're on well, your own. You're it's on a little phone. harder to type out a message okay. because on the keyboard it's faster and it's faster. Uh, I find it faster moving the mouse around and um, on a big screen. Yeah. Um, but it does like it does flow quite nicely. So and if you miss something, you can kind of scroll mm -hmm. quick. So there's there's some good there's some good aspects to it okay. for sure. Um, it's great that we can do this at the same time. Uh, yeah, that part I like. I was yeah. wondering. There's a bit of a delay, but it, but the ch I think the chat is more or less working well. Yeah, because mm -hmm. typically, you know, we've only got the one <laughs> thing going. So yeah, it's weird to sort of know that there's a bit of a delay, but that's cool. Okay, again, it's all an experiment. Yeah. You're watching us figure things out in real time here. Big shout out to E Peaches. Hi, longtime channel members. Hi, Peaches. Says great idea for the applique on the existing sweater with the adorable little bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. How cute those so bunnies cute. are. <laughs> uh, good morning, all. Uh, yes, I'm thinking, I mean, I love rabbits. I absolutely love what rabbits. What does the bell bag look at? Penny, you're going to have to go check it out. Do we have a tutorial or was that just a it's pattern? It's a pattern. So you have to go to our Etsy shop and <clears throat> go to bags and purses. Uh, it might also be a video game. Video um, game? So a bell's bag, for those of you who've never played Animal Crossing, it's a really sweet Nintendo game. Mm -hmm. It's more of a town, it's kind of a town builder. It's just the most gentlest, sweetest game. There's mm -hmm. not like you're not fighting. There's no monsters. There's nothing like that. Um, it's just a really wonderful game, and you, you make friends with all the little villagers with your little animals. And a, and bells is the currency that yeah. they use. And every once in a while, you'll find a little bells bag. Somebody's like like you you little know pouch. you make money or you've got like a pouch of money. It sits in a little bells bag, and the bell it's a sweet little brown sack, <laughs> brownish, toky, beigey, and it's got a little star on it. It's just. It's just adorable because the the animation and the drawings are really cute. So the art the artwork is very cute in Animal Crossing, and I just love that bag. We designed a pattern for it. It's in our Etsy shop. So if you know anybody who loves that game, then I highly recommend making them a bells bag and putting some of their Christmas gifts in it because they will totally get it and it will just delight them. Um, in <laughs> fact, while I'm on the, the topic of it, there I, are some there are some monsters. There are. There's the Tarantula. Button. There's the tarantula, the scorpion, mm -hmm. and the, the bees. And the bees. And I, I think that's it. And depending on... But, but we're talking like cute, and cute, the, uh, you basically cute. try and snag them yeah, with your you try net. to catch them. Um, but depending on the version of Animal Crossing you're playing, there's also pitfalls. You can fall in. Oh, that's way. right. In a hole. If you don't cover up holes, yeah. you'll fall in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, while we're on the topic quickly of video games, I know a lot of you have got kids and grandkids who are into video games, especially Minecraft. It's just still there. It's still a super popular game. <laughs> we have a lot of Minecraft-related tutorials on the channel, and mm -hmm. we have patterns and even more patterns. Have free patterns um, on the website. Free patterns on the website, and we have even more in the Etsy shop so if you are not <laughs> sure what to give your 12 year old grandson or you know who loves minecraft then a stuffed minecraft uh, thing or a minecraft related tutorial we have a ton of them uh, check those out because that might save your bacon and make you the coolest person in the christmas room this year <laughs> um yeah um, and most of those don't take much yarn so you might be able to make a lot of those little things um little video game patterns and tutorials we've got with whatever you've got lying around at home uh, again, this is the year to shop your stash, right? You want to save money. You want to make a bunch of nice little Christmas gifts this year. Um, I think the self-care <laughs> idea is really popular. Like if you're giving people nice, you know, dishcloths or washcloths or little face scrubbies or little little sacks to carry things in and like a nice bar of soap. I know that sounds like such a middle-aged like woman thing, but mm -hmm. I'm like, man, if someone gives me a bar of soap, I'm like, oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> I love soap. Soap smells so good. Especially like homemade soaps. Yeah, Minecraft is still hot amongst the young the young ones. I still like it. Yeah. I mean, I I mean like we it. still play. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it looks like, you know, 8 to eight to 12, 8 to 15 is still very popular. It's, it's, I'm not surprised. It's, it's such a great game. It's a great game. It's excellent for, for um, strategizing mm -hmm. and um, building, being creative. It really flexes the imagination and the, the, the sort of the, the very, the budding engineering brain. It really, it, it, it supports that. It's not a bad game. It's actually a useful game. In fact, there are a lot of uh, there were a lot of um, summer courses, like school summer summer school courses, that used Minecraft as part of the um, the learning curriculum because it you have to you have to think about resources and building and construction and crafting and, and kind of what what goes with what and what doesn't. Go. It, it's a, it's a useful game, so it's it's not it's not a bad video game at all. And of course, there's monsters, but they're funny and it's very it's all blocky and very digital looking. So <clears throat> I like that. <laughs> Kim has a pattern challenge for you. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Um, so a kid's hat and scarf mm -hmm. set where the scarf is attached to the back of the hat. So they never lose the scarf or the hat. That was my challenge. So it looks like one piece. So just so it looks like one piece. It's a hat and the scarf, but it's attached together. So just do a hooded a hooded scarf. A hooded scarf? Yeah. Maybe we'll need to see a photograph of what Kim is. Yeah, a hooded scarf or a, a snood. I a think, snood. I think that's yeah. kind of the word. Like um, it's like the recent it's one a of the hat. recent patterns. And then you like have like sort of scarf below it. Like it's all one kind of piece. Is that what you mean? Here's yeah. another idea from Carolyn. Like Can Sweet. you do a cat dressed with a Santa hat and jacket? That's <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Yeah, yeah that'd be cute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Lots of uh, lots of husbands and wives and spouses and uh, boyfriends and girlfriends play uh, Minecraft together. So it's even popular in the adult crowd. It's because it's we a went through game. a phase where we played like for like a year straight. Yeah, yeah, like, we did. You know, it was just building with things. a bunch of us because because the game mechanics allow you to do things. So you yeah, just build and then something. you're like, oh, let's build a this over. Let's, let's build, build a an eighteen hole golf course. Let's build an eighteen hole golf. Let's let's build a, a, a <laughs> let's build a, a, rep, a, a real working model of our own house. Yeah, let, you know, like it's just, fun. It's goofy. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I like um, that. Yeah, these are all great ideas. Dog booties. Okay, I want to talk about dog stuff briefly. It's great, great bringing that up. We get a ton of requests to make dog sweaters, dog booties, dog costumes, etc. The reason that we haven't done any yet is one, we don't have a dog that we can model anything on. And two, dogs, unlike cats, come in like a billion different sizes. <laughs> So if I'm like, hey, we're making a dog sweater today, but it fits it's your true. dachshund, you know, the, the German shepherds are going to be like, well, hello, you know, what about us? So <laughs> it has to be specifically so made it's for be that specifically dog made. type. Yeah. And, and yeah. you can't just necessarily size up, yeah. um, you know, like you can if you're using elastics and stuff and you buy something no, in the store. They're built differently. Um, they are, dogs are built differently. Yeah. So short legs, long legs, long body, yeah. short body, big chest, tall, big small chest. Chest. Yes, longer uh, big body, head, small short head, body. big ears, yeah. small ears, like thick neck. It's just everything. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, I have. It made, needs to be cus super customized. I have made dog sweaters before, and I have made dog booties. Yes. I um, but I never wrote up a pattern, or um, I think these were all kind of custom things that I did for some friends. So I kind of know the mechanics. Um, but I've been working away diligently trying to figure out how, like we do with our custom clothing here, I can. Put together a tutorial, and it, and we can sort of have you guys <clears throat> build it from measurement. So I'm trying to design a sweater that can be built from measurement um, based on your dog's needs. But I need a dog, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I've got to find a dog to experiment with. That sounds so funny. Can I borrow your dog for an experiment? I absolutely love dogs. I just don't want to clean up after them. I love, I love animals, period. <laughs> we, we, we don't have room for a dog right now. <laughs> but I, I will... Maybe, maybe a little... 
cat or a little, maybe a little tiny dog. Maybe a little tiny dog. Because it's a little more manageable. See, we've I got I mean, I love to, the big dogs, too. I love, I, I love... They're just, they need a lot of space. Yeah, they do. They need a lot of space. But, and they need a lot of food. So we are working on that. <laughs> uh, but I do, I do require a couple of dogs um, to uh, to work with before I can perfect this this pattern I have in my brain and I can therefore you know turn it around and let everybody make one based on their dog's needs. So, mm -hmm. so we're working on that. Yeah. I think I'm yeah. out, of, out of, <clears throat> of coffee. I guess we can try and do a, a generalized like big medium small type thing. Big, medium. Like this this version of a dog sweater, you know, it's tiny dog, meat, mid dog, large dog and maybe the, work it out into one I thought pattern. of that, but the issue I have with that is that it's, it's not going to work it's for not every gonna, dog. It's not going to work out. Yeah. And when you, when you spend the time it takes a making long time. something, <laughs> you want it to fit. You yeah. know, it's such a bummer when you sit down to work on a sweater or some kind of wearable and it, it works out to be too big or too small. It's, it's, you've just now spent <laughs> all that time on something and, you know, what are you going to do with it? So, Nani Mae says dogs are easier to take care of than kids. <laughs> well, you, you don't go through that teen phase. <laughs> I'm sure that's true. Uh, let's see. Cats are, yep, cats. Cats aren't too hard to take care of. They're a little less, they're happy to be left alone. Well, it depends but on the cat. But you do have to clean up after it, them. it does depend on the cat. I mean, like any, like any person, animals all have their own personality. Some of them are really needy. Some of them want to be left alone. That goes for dogs and cats. Some of them have special needs. Some of them are perfectly fine and healthy. Some of them are constantly in your face and want your attention. Mm -hmm. Like a certain cat we know. Yeah, like <laughs> one of our one of our little uh, little buddies. Our furry little nieces. <laughs> um, a lot of animals. Um, a lot of animals require constant supervision. Um, you know, or constant interaction. Like I, I, I have friends that have birds, and these <laughs> birds just need your attention all constantly. The time. Oh yeah, you have to give big birds attention. They'll, they'll get depressed. Yeah. Yeah. You have to keep them busy. Keep them busy. Give them things to do. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a lifestyle. It that's is. for sure. If you want to be a good pet owner, yeah, um, just like being a good parent, you gotta. You really, have to make it your life. You have to indulge them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's tons of comments. Oh my goodness, I can't get to them all. So um, once again, I know if you're just joining us, this is an experiment today. We are live streaming from the phone. Mr. Stitches is using his phone and his account to kind of watch the stream and we're kind of seeing how it goes. We've never done this before. So uh, if the picture looks different than normal, if it's, uh, you know, a little, little staggered, then that might be something to do with it. Um, someone asked in the, in the comments, in the chat, if uh, anyone is listening to Christmas music yet. I am is not. Is it too early? I am not yet. And it's not because I think it's too early. I think I just haven't had time to really turn on any music. Mm -hmm. It depends. You know what? I'll start listening to orchestral... I think it's too early for me. ...Christmas music before I start listening to Christmas music with lyrics. Because the orchestral stuff is like kind of classic sounding, fades to the background. I feel like I need... It needs to be December for me, and it needs to be like, like you gotta start getting the snow on the ground, and then I'm starting to go, oh yeah. Yeah. But um, very selective. Yeah. Because some of some of those Christmas tunes, they've been around for like eighty years, and when you've heard them eight hundred billion times, <laughs> even if it's a good song. Yes. You kind of want to like tear your hair out. <laughs> So I, I, I don't know, I feel like I kind of like limiting it to like maybe one one or two weeks of, of a little spattered. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I like to gradually work into it. I, I think I like starting it in December too. Yeah. I, don't I love it when they come out with new ones. Me too. Like at, pretty much every year, there's always a Somebody handful of artists out comes out with a few good sure. ones. Yeah. So I'm so thankful for that. I like the, I like the fresh take on... On, but I like it when they're original, yeah. not just a remake. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love the original stuff. Although I will say, a lot of those songs are very emotional, and I'm an emotional person, and I don't like, you know, doing the dishes and having a great day and something and exploding in tears. So, no, you know, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like... Uh, when, Wendy says it's never too early. I, I will put on Christmas movies. Like, I'll start in, like, August with the Christmas movies. And there are some Christmas movies, and I use the, the, the quote line, because like, some movies just happen to take place at the holidays. I'll watch some of those any time of the year. Um, but I, So I can start with the movies long before I start with the music, I think. Some people are getting snow already. Oh, mm. it's too soon. It's too soon. 
We we did have a, a smattering. We got we got a little bit of flurry and a little bit of uh, hail. Mm -hmm. But then the weather got nice. But again. it was yeah, it didn't accumulate or anything. I feel like it's just you know it's doing its usual thing. It's kind of like it's been really nice lately. You know, actually. Heading, yeah, it has been. It's like been good nice. good fall temperatures and mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're heading into winter. You can feel it. Summer like. says, uh, I switched from Halloween to Christmas. It's like, wow, I'm wet. Yeah. But that's because you have two kids. You well, have to, uh, yes. That, you know, you got to kind of dial it up a couple notches the, the, when you got the kid, when the kids are young. The and kids excited. Want to go from this to that. <laughs> I will say, though, I was into the supermarket on October 31st, and, you know, it was all Halloween, obviously, yeah. that they had the candy. I will notice that they didn't have the candy on sale, which I thought was a bit of a bummer. Usually candy goes on sale on the 31st of October because they want to get it out Maybe the door. they didn't uh, have enough to... No, they had tons. Yeah. I was surprised. Anyway, they so I thought... They just didn't get to it because no one can hire enough people right yeah, now. Yeah, that's it. There's not enough there's not enough. There's not enough people working. No, there isn't. So they didn't get to the sale. <laughs> that's how it Anyway, a ton of Halloween stuff uh, everywhere. Halloween candy, Halloween costumes, you know, all over the place. Okay, great. Went in um, yesterday to pick up uh, a couple of things, and it's like Christmas fell down the chimney and exploded all over the store. There isn't a trace of Halloween anything. It is just 100% Christmas. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. That was... one store, yeah. it was like half an acre of just Christmas stuff. And it's like... <laughs> and the lights so and the, the trains of... going. And you're like, <laughs> already? <laughs> You know, you're still like taking off your Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I don't mind. I mean, like, I don't live in a store, so I don't mind going into the store and seeing it. But I think if you if you work retail, it's kind of whiplash. You know, you go from, from Halloween to Christmas immediately, yeah. at least around here. We do. Some people um, absolutely wait till Thanksgiving's over in the States. Yes. Now, our, our Thanksgiving in Canada is usually around the, the second mid, week of middle October. Middle of October. And, yeah. and the, in, this, in the U.S., it's like the, the end week. of November. November. Yeah. So that's quite a gap. So a lot, uh, we see a lot of Christmas movies from the U.S. where it's, there, there's a lot of blending. Yeah. So it's like Thanksgiving and Christmas is kind of becomes this blend, big blended um, holiday. Yeah. Like, so, so it's funny when you grow up in a country that has a lot of American influence, but you're not actually American and you see all these movies where people are sitting around for Thanksgiving and they're, they're going out Christmas shopping the next day. Yeah. And, and when here, you're a kid, like, you're like, that's weird. That's like really I can't, early. I don't understand that. Why would you go out so <laughs> soon? Yeah, but 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 it's because ours is in early October. Because yeah. uh, our uh, Canadian Thanksgiving is more about harvest than anything else. Yeah. It's basically thank, giving thanks for the harvest, and of course our harvest comes in it's a lot sooner. earlier. Yeah. It's earlier because of the cooler temperature. Well, they're north. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, we understand it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we've got a super chat from Penny. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Penny. Penny says, can I download the game on my phone? If you're talking about the Granny Square game that we have the app for. We can just get the app. Um, it's not, it's not like you're downloading it to your phone. What you're doing is you're adding the link to your phone that becomes a icon. On your phone. Uh, so it looks like an app icon. And when you tap it, it's our little sunshine logo. When you tap it, it takes you directly to the mm -hmm. website and that's where the app is. Yeah. So it's kind of like connecting it to your phone, but it's not like having it on your phone. If that's... So you have to be, you have to have internet connection yeah. to, to use it. Yeah, yeah, you can. Um, I might be able to show you. Ooh. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you might be able to do it. Yeah, let me see if this messes everything up though. Well, it's okay. You can you can get like off if I of that. Close this. Yeah, I don't need to be. I don't need to chat with everyone. <laughs> no one's interested in what I have to say. You can get off of yeah. Again, experiment. Here we go. We've never we've never done. We don't do things with the phone. Okay, I forgot often. what I was doing. We're kind of we're, we're there. We go. Okay, so let me grab this little guy. Move him over. Okay, so this is him right there. Oh, this is cool. All right. Is this meta? This is so meta. So this <laughs> is, do you see that little app in the middle of the screen? That's what it should look like when you use the link and save it to your phone, that little icon. And then when you tap on that, so I'm going to, I'm going to tap on it. I can't believe all of this is working. Yeah. We can eat. I even have us streaming at the same time. 
Okay, so there you go. So I've tapped on it and now it takes me directly to the app. That's oh. our little app. Yeah. That you can play the Granny Square game, you know, <laughs> with us or friends or whatever. It's it's all free. And the great thing about the app, I've never really had a chance to really show it. Um, you can go play game, you can go shop patterns, watch tutorials, and quick links. So all of those all of those buttons will take you quickly to our Etsy shop, our YouTube channel, our videos. And if you want to play the game, you go to play game and it takes you to the game screen where you want to select your timer. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. Um, and just as I think, I think if you're typing it into your phone to find it, it's um, it's www.jadenstitches.com slash app, right? No, it's, I think it's app.jadenstitches.com. It's, it's app.jadenstitches.com. Yeah, so it's, so it's https colon slash slash. Uh, I don't know if there's W's. There would have to be. There's W's then dot app dot jadenstitches.com. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought the app was later. You no, know what? I think the app is first, but I might be wrong because I, I haven't seen it We've in a got the link. Um, it's every, it's always at the is it always at the no bottom? I don't think so I think we've got the link under some of our I, um, some of our live streams this is funny again this is not working <laughs> so We're I trying, can't look guys. it up like I normally do so so if you click on actually the app is good for people that aren't like good at navigating the internet because mm -hmm. if you do have, get used to the app on your phone look at that I'm I'm Raising our volume. <laughs> Sorry for the boomer, uh, <laughs> the super boomer internet here. So, super boomer if you watching. tap on watch tutorials, oh yeah, it just screwed it up. It brought me to YouTube. Anyway, I'm gonna have to make a video. Yeah, you should make a video. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, because it's 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 basically how we we run the game, but in a digital format, our Granny Square game. Yeah. Um, and then you can you can play it at home if you want. Oh no, it worked. It, it worked. worked. Yeah. So when I tapped on that, it just takes us to the the YouTube channel directly, and then you can look at all the videos. And if you tap on um, the patterns, it takes you to the directly to the Etsy shop. Yeah, and there's also a how to play the game. And then there's a how to play the game, and, and yeah, it's all there. You'll you just play play with it, and you'll see everything. Yeah, and we host that app, so you're not going to get you know knocked it's, over by it's free spam or free app, you know, free it's game. Free. You're not going to be asked for money or anything. No. We host that, so that's 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 on our dime for you guys to play. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know what you guys have been saying because I've been. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to figure out my phone here, but so now uh, you're behind in the chest. That's the best I can do. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, I forgot. Now, if that's not the game you were talking about, <laughs> then we have a big problem. We just wasted 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, if you, yeah, that's if you're talking about more like the Animal Crossing or the Minecraft stuff, that's stuff that you can play like on video game consoles. Uh, and Switch. And... Um, I don't th I think you can download a version of Minecraft and a cute pocket version of Animal Crossing to your phone or tablet from the app store. Um, but I know the Animal Crossing pocket camp pattern um, there we go. I'm pushes, back. pushes microtransactions, so I'm not a big fan of it. Um, and I did buy the Microsoft game for my tablet um, years ago, and I just paid it, I, like I think I paid $10 for it and it, it works, but haven't played it on the tablet in a long time. Don't know <laughs> if they've made changes to it um, and if they're pushing microtransactions. All right, I'm trying to catch up with the chat. Can you guys still see and hear us? Did, it, did I screw anything up here? You should have because that's your account, not this account. I'm having brain folds right now. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm trying to catch up with the chat. We got Penny's super chat. Yes, thank you again, Penny. Um, okay, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like everything's still running. Okay, good. Um, this isn't our usual kind of, of, uh, of live chat session today, guys. So I, I usually have a better theme. I know we're usually, you know, on, super on theme and on point, but today was more about an experiment. So if you're just, you know, hanging out with us, then I'm so glad that you're here and you've got your feet up and you're hanging out. This is, this is, uh, just close out. Yeah. Just like if you, you know, just leave. If you had enough, just say, you know, X out. Yeah, I'm like, done. I've had it with these two. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, I, we figured while we were working the experiment, and we still are, obviously, uh, this is a lot of this is for the benefit of Mr. Stitches because he handles the techie aspect of, of running this channel. I don't. Um, <laughs> I just I just talk about crochet and wheel the hook from now, uh, from time to time. Um, so this was kind of a good opportunity to see like what we could do with it, what he needs to learn in order to make it work properly. Learning. And uh, and just see sort of what you guys think of this format because if you like it, you know maybe we'll try it again. Maybe we'll you know we'll have some fun with it. Shanaz says. Her, her bunny likes Mr. and Stitches, constantly wants to lick the screen. Aww, that's really cute. <laughs> Is it a cute bunny? <laughs> Are all bunnies you can, cute? We'll, I'll babysit your bunny for you. I've never seen an ugly bunny. Bunnies are always cute. Yeah, yeah. They there are no non-cute non bunnies. Puddles of floof. Yeah. yeah, especially like the little bunty ones, the ones that are uh, dwarf dwarves or holland lops. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You just want to like snatch them up. <laughs> Come here. Chew on the little feet. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to squish your fur. Um, all right. Well, I think, yeah, I think everything's still going. Okay, well then. I gave everyone a, a quasi lesson quasi on our lesson. Granny Square game app. We yeah. are, we do intend to get back into that game. We had an excellent idea earlier to do a Granny Square game counter blanket. Yeah, that was a family member suggestion. I love, I love suggestion. that. That's, that's. That's awesome. Yeah, that was one of our family members suggested doing a Granny Square game related calendar blanket, which I think would be hilariously uh, fun. Linda wants to know what's the best way to contribute to you so that you get the highest percentage of contribution. Thank you, Linda. Really appreciate that. Um, well, the, the easiest and cheapest way for, for any anyone out there is um, subscribing, liking clicking like likes on the videos watching the videos uh, as much as you can mm -hmm. um what else is on youtube sharing sharing with you know other crafty friends yeah, and sharing family. Actually helps a lot. so that's the that's the simplest cheapest way mm -hmm. um if you want to donate to support the show um i would say buying patterns yeah, so PayPal, if, you, if you've only got a couple bucks to spare, and we really appreciate anything, like my grandfather said, every penny counts, and he was right. Um, we have a PayPal donation um, on, tip jar on our website, on our website jadenstitches.com. They, the, they, the, they take less they take the of less a percentage than, yeah. than YouTube does. Um, but if you want to you know, get something for your money, um, you can become a channel member here, and YouTube does take a piece of that. Or you can go to our Etsy shop and buy um, you know, one of our patterns. Yeah. Which Everyone takes a piece of everything. Yeah. They're kind of like the government, <laughs> but the government is worse. <laughs> the government's like... Um, oh, we'll take I, I'll, take, of that. I'll take that hundred dollars you just made mm -hmm. and I'll here here's a dime. I'll give you this dime back. Good deal, right? Yeah. With the you know, a <laughs> couple of guns at your head. Yeah, yeah, it's a great deal. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm teasing everyone. Um, so yeah, I would say like in order of like best best bang for your buck percentage wise, it goes the free stuff is a huge help. Sharing, liking, subscribing. Um, and then I would say uh, website donation slash Etsy shop pattern purchasing. We, and we don't just have patterns. We have bookmarks. We have coloring sheets. Mm -hmm. We have um, the game. What else do we have? Yeah, we, got a whole bunch we have of a lot of stuff. Binder. We have binder kits for those of you that love to yeah. scrapbook and They're stuff. They're all digital files too. So yeah. the second you buy them, you can download them. And then, and then, um, super chats and super stickers, all these things that YouTube has and, and channel memberships, they're great too. Um, we do receive, I think it's 70% of that. Of that. Yeah. So, you know, YouTube takes their cut, but they're also running a massive system. Don't mind that. You know, yeah. they have to pay people to make sure it's working. So we understand. Yeah. But that would be the, I would say the, That's the level. The level. Yeah. We recently found out that when people share videos, so like there's always a little share button under a video, mm -hmm. you can click that and it gives you like all these options. You can text it to someone, you can share it on Facebook, you can create your own, you know, like uh, post if you're busy on YouTube. Um, 
sharing the video actually helps quite a bit. We didn't mm -hmm. we didn't really realize that. You know, you, I'm oh, sure yeah. if you watch YouTube for any longer than five minutes, you'll hear people going, make sure you subscribe and click yeah. the like button and all that stuff. Do this and, do that. and it all helps, but one of the things sometimes people say is, oh, share this video. And that's what they mean. You know, click the share button and actually send it to somebody <laughs> like they might be interested in it. Because um, that does actually help quite a bit. Summer says, I honestly think you guys are sharper than normal. So do you mean sharper like we should have put makeup on? Or do you mean sharper like we've had a lot of coffee? That's a good question. That's a good that's a fair it's, question. You know, though, the you English think? language can have multiple meanings here. Yeah. Sharper so let language. us know, Summer. What kind of sharper do you mean? Uh, it's. I think it's the ma we should have put makeup uh, on. I even said to you, should I put something on? Jada goes, should I put makeup on? What if this comes out really clear? Like, and I, I said, you look fine. <laughs> Someone wanted to know what level my hair was cut at. Um, was that a was two? it a no? It was a two the first time, and that was a mistake. Wait, wait, but did Roy have the same cut as you the other day? And he said, oh, I think it's usually a three, and he got a three, and he was like, it's a bit short, so. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm going to say it's between three and four. Three and four. So those of you that were asking. This has been growing for a couple of Those of you that were asking, it, it, it was between three and four, um, but it's been a few weeks, so it's grown a bit. Actually, my hair grows pretty quick, so. His, I could cut And his it's hair. like totally not even, it's, it's messy. I could cut his hair every two weeks and just fill the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, we could create, we should do some crochet rugs with my hair. <laughs> Wow. Human hair crochet rug. Amazing. <laughs> Fast. Cheap. Cheap. Make it in one, make it in five minutes. <laughs> None of that is true. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen the, the, the thumbnails yeah, or the videos. Seen, <laughs> you've recently seen the, the new barrage of crochet tutorials that say things like, make it as many as you can make. And there's like, it doesn't actually tell Amazing. what it is. It's made in five minutes. Yeah, it's a five minute tutorial. Uh, no. no, I don't <laughs> I think so. Think what a uh, click in five minutes. <laughs> anyway, I love these trends that sweep YouTube. You know, you kind of see them coming like waves crashing yeah. on the beach. Picture is definitely sharper, says Carol. This is great. Okay. Well, we're really happy for the feedback this is because good. this is the first time we've. So we should have put makeup on. We so I, I should have put on makeup. And we should have proper I'm, lighting. Guys, I'm jogging pants. I'm practically like, in my pajamas is, here. <laughs> we're like, do you want to turn on the phone and try live streaming? <laughs> sure. Should we prepare? Why would we do that? Why bother? Well, here you go. This is, <laughs> this is, this is the mess. But I love it. You know what else I noticed? It's widescreen. We're able to, we're able to live stream in widescreen. And normally when we live stream, we have it's, to do it. Yeah, in we have squares. to do it in a smaller square. Yeah. So that's so amazing. So that's fun. I like that. Wow. <laughs> well, this like I think this is a bit about a ten or fifteen percent crochet live stream. I know. I apologize to anybody who's here for actual crochet. Discussion. Okay, let's <laughs> let's focus on the original. Um, the majority of the requests were um, Christmas pattern, Christmas pattern ideas yeah. and concepts. Okay. So let's cover that for a bit. So here's a couple a couple of things. Um, we've got a ton of Christmas oriented projects. But rather than make you go hunting for the links, I will start curating really cute groups of them and mm, we can post them. Just posting mm -hmm. them as little as little library posts over the next few days. So if you see them come through your 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 feed, um, it's you know it's library posts. I try to always make sure that I say library posts so that you know it's it's not necessarily a brand new video. It might be new to you, you may never have seen it. Um, but I'll start making little curated groups of, of fun little um, tutorials and Christmas related projects just so you don't have to go looking for them and you can sort of <laughs> see them as they go by. Noni May says she's interested in purchasing the Mr. and Stitches crocheted hair rug. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like that shag carpet from the 70s. It'd be like six inches high. It would also have attitude. Like yeah, it would kind of like you'd step on it and it would kind of be like, get off yep. me. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You. It's it's a very ornery, ornery rug. A very rug. ornery rug, yeah. The animals wouldn't step on it. Yeah. Or they would stay with Or the cat would like the lie on it and then get like launched off. 
That would be hilarious. Okay, not for the cat, but I mean, if you could, if you could design a rug that launches an animal when every time it tries to sit on it, like, like I'm sure you've seen those squirrel launching tutorial or videos where people. You need like, an automatic spray mist of water. They don't work. No, no, the auto one. They work for five minutes, but like, lady got used. Now she's not afraid to spray even care. She's, she's like, yeah, like, just wet my give fur. Give it to me. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm more interested in the squirrel. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I will I will start curating some of our current projects. I do have a long list of fun new Christmas ideas coming. Uh, we're trying to set up our schedule for the next uh, few weeks. We know this time of year is crazy. We will, of course, have our usual Friday reoccurring event. Um, it's usually a video. Sometimes it's a double feature where we live stream and we have a video, and sometimes it will just be a live stream, depending on how crazy the week has been. But... Uh, we would love to know from you guys um, if there's specifically projects you've had in your mind, if there's things that maybe you think you know we've done but you're not sure, you know, like leave comments down below um, and we'll just, you know, because we do go through all the comments. I try to get to them relatively frequently. It's actually been a, it's been about a week since I've been able to look at comments. So if you've left a comment recently on the channel and you haven't heard back from me, that's why uh, I haven't been able to get to the comments. Um, but uh, we do read through them all, and if I see recommendations or suggestions, I always write them down. Um, I do have long lists of them sort of thing, and it's, but it's fun for me to see when people kind of like, all, like, when I see more than one or two um, suggestions of the same thing, that kind of like rises to the top of the list, because I know that maybe there's more interest in doing that kind of a project. Um, we will definitely do a few more live streams leading up to the holidays on just organizing, you know, getting yourself prepared, shopping your stash a little more. We touched on it today, you know, maybe we'll do a, a like a top, top five stash, um, a good stash shopping, you know, concepts or something video, just so like we kind of put it all in one small little snapshot for you. Um, we've also been experimenting with shorts. Uh, <laughs> YouTube wants us to use more shorts. So we've been kind of like putting up shorts that kind of talk more about some of the, the tutorials that we've got. We heard a lot of good feedback. Some of you really enjoyed it. Some of you were like, uh, you know, too many. Like, you know, please put up fewer. So I'd love some more feedback on shorts. Would you guys like to see us experiment with that kind of, um, you know, format a little bit more? I, I like shorts because they're usually in uh, portrait mode. So if you're holding your phone like you normally hold it, it you see it kind of like portrait size as opposed to widescreen. So I kind of like that format. But then you get like a minute. So usually a short is like a minute long you can kind of concisely say a few things. We've done a couple things. We did a, like a, a really quick uh, short yarn review uh, short a while ago. That was kind of fun. Um, but I don't know if you guys think that's kind of a fun, a little bit of a, of a format to experiment with then let us know because I do like playing with the new features when YouTube comes out with them. Uh, we like to sort of play around with ideas and concepts here on the channel, obviously sticking to the crochet concept. Um, but if that's something you guys would kind of like to see us sort of fiddle around with, then let us know because it's fun. Uh, not that that would take away from our regular Friday videos or our regular live streams. Like we just, this is just looking to add, you know, fun extra content to the channel. Um, like experimenting with a live stream from the phone. This has been kind of, I'm, I'm delighted with how well this seems to have gone. An I mean, hour and 22 minutes. An hour and 20, oh my gosh. There's a little timer. I just realized there's the a little top. timer. Yeah. 122 too. Hmm. That is cool. I didn't realize that we would go this long. And I'm also Neither did the I. The phone didn't, didn't click off on us. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. So I think maybe we'll call it there uh, mm -hmm. just because it has been going on for um, a little bit longer. This was just an experiment. Uh, we will maybe make a slight, a more, we'll do a live stream with a more um, crochet project holiday theme. Uh, was a little bit like, I'll actually have some notes and a list to go through. Uh, maybe we'll do something a little more specific um, in the coming, the coming weeks, uh, the coming days. I don't know. We'll have to look at the schedule. But <laughs> thank you all for participating in this live stream experiment that we had going on today. I know we sort of sprung it on you, but we thought we'd give it a shot. And it looked like we had good, good, good digital speed, and we figured we'd never done it before. So. Some people like the shorts. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. It's... Um, I don't know. They're, you they're, don't really like shorts. I personally don't like them when I got a specific YouTuber I like to follow. I don't like them. Yeah. But if I go to the shorts area where you're just flipping through them, mm -hmm. 
it's okay for like you know a few minutes of watching a handful of things like, yeah. i don't mind that yeah but but when there's someone i'm following i don't like seeing the shorts on their subscription feed because it's it's usually like it's what is it it's a minute yeah. or less yeah um, so I don't typically care for it, but I do watch them from time to time. I think I have two minds on it. I don't. I, um, I like it to sounds see. like the, the 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 negative feedback for shorts is that they're just they're they're just too short just to too teach to, to just show or teach anything. Yeah. So you can only use it. It's more it, like it's a. It's more like a like a hey guy. It's like a a news thing or an update thing or a, yeah. you know we'll answering be doing this thing. next week little or answering a question little announcements well, yeah. that's a good way to like because can you really teach a stitch in a minute well i've seen some TikTok like like yeah, the uploads of people pretending to teach crochet it's like, pretend they're just they're not teaching it's the it. they're, ADHD just, of crochet. they're just getting a view on do this do that do this do that <laughs> no i'm sorry it's it's it's, <laughs> it's entertaining <laughs> It's entertaining. It's entertaining. But it's not a proper tutorial. Yeah, yeah. You, you just can't do that. I, in a I have to say, time. sometimes I'm in the mood for a nice long form tutorial. Sometimes I'm in the mood for the highlights of a tutorial. And sometimes I'm in the mood for a quick, like, hey, before, after, you know, this is the mess I'm starting with. And this is the yeah. finished product. I it's love It's good. That. So Gina has a good thing. It's good for a show and tell. Yeah, Gina. You know, hey, uh, I just made this mm -hmm. and I used this stitch and here's how it turned out. Yeah. Like that, that would work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. You can definitely um, do that in a, in a minute. Yeah. I don't know. We'll we'll try a few little Well, that's all very good concepts. Feedback. Yeah, thank um, you everyone. And we'll see if anyone likes see, it. It's the creative community. But we'll really we'll dial it. like we won't do it we won't do it a lot. Yeah. We're, we're gonna we're more or less gonna stick to our format of the last decade. I my favorite thing to do absolute favorite thing to do is a crochet tutorial. I love that more than live streaming. I know I enjoy live streaming. I love it more than like, you know, little vlogs or doing reviews of products or yarn. I love tutorials. I want to make mm -hmm. stuff all the time yeah. and I want to show you guys how to make yeah. stuff. So, so that's my we, favorite thing. Yeah, just so you know, we are not going to change our format. We're going to stick to the way we've been doing it. Mm -hmm. um, but E. Peaches says uh, shorts are good for announcements. So, yeah, I like that too. Yeah. I also like the idea of answering like a frequently asked question. That might be handy. It's just the funny thing with shorts is that, you know, if you're watching shorts, YouTube puts you in a different category and you can't just go through. Just the people like, you random. want. It's random. Yeah. I don't like that. And if you're on the channel and you're like, I, now, you know what? YouTube has recently changed the curation of videos. So if you go to someone's channel homepage, for us, that's youtube.com slash Jada and Stitches. It'll bring you to our channel homepage. And they've changed the tab. So it used to just be videos, but now it's videos, live streams, and shorts. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see all of our shorts, you can click on that tab and just go through all of them. We are getting a lot of super thumbs up on our crochet tutorials. Some yeah. people are saying they're some want. of the best on, on YouTube. Thanks, so guys. thank you very much. Well, we that's appreciate that. All I like to do. It's my favorite thing. And I cannot wait. Until we also try to be thorough. Yeah. You know, we're not trying to make the video short like a lot of people are trying to shorten it. Um, we're not trying to do that. No, no. So we, we want to make sure that, you yeah. know, so the questions you know, are It's long form. Ask. It's old school. <laughs> we're, yeah. OG, what is it? An OG? We're OG. O we're based, OG, OG YouTubers? Based OG. Yeah. Based OG YouTuber? I don't know. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> trying to keep up. Um, I also really love, this is another reason that we're, we're trying experiments with different uh, media here um, and the, 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 you know, the, the phone data versus like the, the live, the internet connection is because uh, I look forward to doing more, we've done some live crochet tutorials in the past um, where, you know, we've got the, the camera sort of set up as best we can, but they're not as, it's not, a, they're not as clear an image yeah. as we'd like them to be. And I love doing full blown like live crochet alongs where it's like you're seeing every single stitch and we're just chatting while we're doing it. Um, when we do do them, you know, on this sort of setup where we're talking to you, then it's, you know, if you're the type of person who really needs to see every stitch, otherwise you can't follow, then it's, it's not all that fun. But so that's why we try to do, you know, really simple things like, hey, it's a blanket, it's this repeating stitch and here's the actual tutorial over here if you need a close up and that's what we're working on today. So we've been doing that, which I think is fun. Like I love to sit and crochet, you know, while we're kind of hanging out. Um, but uh, just actually making something is my favorite thing to do. I love to make it, mm -hmm. I love to design it, and I love to share it with you guys. It's like 
That's it. If you have anything, my sole reason for existing. <laughs> uh, anyone out there that has anything they'd like to share, like you've made some of our stuff, you have photos, um, you have ideas, you can leave comments under the video. Oh, so can't not the chat, because the chat, it's hard to keep up with. So leave comments after the, under any video. Pick yeah. a video, leave a comment, and um, send a message through our Etsy shop messenger. And, and you can put a photo there. And you can put a photo there yeah. or you know leave a message and that's um that's uh, private so youtube yes. is public etsy messenger is private and you don't need to pay for an account it's it's a free account yeah you also don't even need an account you, just you don't even need an account a photo, you oh need okay an account. so there you go that's how you can share anything that you'd like to share yeah yeah, yeah. and uh we love it we oh love it. i think i missed the super chat where'd you come from so this is from sherry I'm learning the, all the buttons. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Sherry sent us a super chat. Thank you. Um, She's participating in these Yeah, games. being with you forever. You are fun and thorough. Love you both. Thank you. Thank you Sherry. so much. Appreciate that. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. Oh, Christmas treat bag. Somebody mentioned that, and I meant to write it down. Uh, I think I don't think I missed any more. If I did, I let me know. Vima. Vima, you said that right? Christmas treat bag. Um, okay. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, at last, sort of like a short notice. This is our, this was our phone live stream, phone live stream by phone experiment. I think it actually worked out pretty well. Yeah. Um, got some ideas, got some reminders. Thank you guys. Uh, we are definitely going to put together um, another live stream talking about holiday projects, stash diving, more in depth, and we'll be more specific. I'll stay on topic. This was more kind of us fiddling around with the technology and chit chatting. Um, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and the rest of your week. We will see you Friday for something. Uh, because we are not changing our schedule. We will have something for you every Friday. That is what we do here. And uh, we will, if we experiment with shorts, it'll be experiments. You'll sort of see them popping up randomly. Over the course of this week, we will be curating um, crochet projects for the holidays for you guys. So you'll see that in your feed. We'll give it a little like, you know, comment and then the actual video underneath it. So if you've never seen it before, there's something for you to look forward to. And um, it saves you kind of searching for stuff. Um, yeah. And the Black Friday sale is coming up on the Black Friday weekend at our shop and look forward to that. So if you're saving up your pennies, that is the time to come <laughs> do a little, little pattern shopping. And that does help support us immensely. So we thank you. And that's us. usually our biggest sale. That's usually our biggest sale of the year. Yeah. yeah. And we'll have a little extra special something for the family members um, for that weekend too. It's sort of a special family members coupon for the Silk and Bakunia members. Uh, which we tried. I think we did that last year too. So um, look forward to that. Thank you guys. And um, as soon as things settle down a little bit, I'm going to get back to looking through the comments on the channel. If you have anything pressing, please don't hesitate to message us at the Etsy shop. And uh, you can share photographs of your recent projects with us there as well. We love the comments. We love suggestions, especially going into the holidays. So if you've got ideas for you know live streams or projects or crochet tutorials, please let us know because I do keep a list. And uh, I consult it regularly. So thank you for hanging out with us today. We will see you guys soon. And I'm about to do that whole like based boomer thing where I try to figure out how to shut Where you stick your screen. nose up against the screen and try and turn it off. <laughs> so I think, everyone, the thank X. you. Have an awesome day. And I think I'm closing it, but I'm going to don't swear for the next five minutes. Just in case I will, I will uh, filter the mouth. <laughs> While you're figuring that out, I just want to shout out Sherry. Oh. She's rejoined our uh, membership, so a re-welcome to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Snuck in there at the end. Snuck Thank it so right much. in at the end. Okay, bye everyone. Have an awesome Sunday, and we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>